Is overlanding only for the rich? That is a question that I found myself asking, and it doesn't take long watching four wheel drive videos on YouTube to wonder if you need to have really deep pockets or an insatiable desire for debt. But is that really the case? This was a costly mistake I made as a beginner and it's something I wish I knew sooner. When I first started building my rig, I felt like I didn't have the right gear. I thought I needed more upgrades to really get out there and enjoy the experience. In reality, what I had was perfectly fine. I found myself comparing my rig to others. Front bumper, rear tire carrier, snorkel, fridge, roof rack, 37s, lift kit, lockers, you name it. The list of upgrades can go on and on. Tens of thousands of dollars just in modifications. On the other hand, I've seen simple builds with only the bare essentials, a more functional approach. For the focus is on reliability and not flash. Some even go as far as buying the cheapest vehicle that fits their needs, and they're pretty capable. Two completely different approaches to off-roading, and neither one is wrong because everyone has their own preferences. But as beginners, many of us think that we need all those fancy upgrades just to get started. And that's what I thought when I wanted to go out in nature more. Camping, hiking, running, fishing. Fantastic. I needed an off-road vehicle, so I bought a beautiful 97 Jeep TJ. I was in love. I worked on it for months, doing upgrades and getting it ready for its first trip. Then it overheated on the way there. It was the hottest day of the year, and I had to turn back. What did I end up taking? My trusty Corolla. It didn't look cool, but it got me where I needed to go. Did I get to go off-roading? No, not exactly. But I was able to go to the coast and enjoy some nice hikes with my wife. And you know what? We had a blast. The lesson was clear. Sometimes we get so wrapped up in the gear and what we don't have that we forget the real reason we got into the hobby in the first place. It's not about the stuff. It's about being out in nature, slowing down and enjoying life away from our busy lives. And most importantly, the real reason everyone gets into this hobby, food. Of course, there are trails and roads that absolutely require an off-road vehicle and safety should always come first. Don't put yourself or others in harm's way by tackling terrain your vehicle isn't built for. But for many adventures, what you already have may be enough to get you started. As a reminder, most of the beautiful rigs you see online, like the one in the thumbnail, absolutely gorgeous by the way, often take years to build. And you don't have to be rich to build one. And most experienced off-roaders will tell you, modify based on your needs. So here's the key takeaway. Don't get caught up thinking that you need to spend tens of thousands of dollars to have fun and be out in nature. Nature is free. It's a gift from God. What matters is getting out there, enjoying nature, and making memories with your family. So start simple and enjoy the process of building your dream rig over time, if that is your goal. The adventure is out there waiting for you. So have fun and enjoy the journey. And this is by no means trying to bash on anyone who has a very nicely built overland rig or off-road vehicle it's just a reminder uh, to us newbies that we'll get there someday <laughs> you guys have a good one